ATM cards are a regular item. Take a look at, how thick PVC cards are made. The first step is to mix, the required color for each card. These colors change, as per the needs of the banks, and the exact formula is kept, strictly confidential. This well mixed colorant is deposited, inside the screen printing machine. The required design is first printed, onto the face of a special plastic layer, using this color. Now one of these printed layers is placed on the face of each PVC sheet. Using ultraviolet technology, these two become a single unit. After that, this big sheet which ends up as one is passed, to a cutting machine, and it is cut exactly to the size, of the ATM card. ATM cards cut from the sheet are fed from a canvas belt and stacked on top of each other. Now the chips need to be attached to these cards, for which, first a small part of only one end of these cards, is cut off with a milling machine. The pre-programmed chips will be scanned and added to it. All ATM cards will have a hologram, as part of their security. To prevent fraud, very small texts called microtext, are also printed on the card. Now stick the magnet tapes, on the back of the card. This tape, which comes in long strips, is cut and heated and added to the card. Once all the necessary items have been memorized for the card, each person's personal information needs to be printed and programmed into it. Then scan each one to make sure the information is correct. So all the correct cards are again subjected to various texts. In order to ensure the physical quality of these cards, they are subjected to various tests such as bending and folding. Finally after passing all the tests the cards are given to the banks. How was the factory manufacturing of the ATM card? Comment below and let us know your opinion. If you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching.